What am I doing today? Right, today I'm doing an unboxing. What have I got? Crikey, some weight now. Uh, I have delivered to me from Mr. Phil Ashby up in Queensland. One of his fabulous Twingo electric guitars. Now, this one is one of his box series. She's a substantial creature. Which beats an end up. Okay. I think he's given us some information here. And Phil's been selling his guitars through Burble Guitars for about a year. And uh, we've done very well. We've sold a few of Phil's guitars in here. And um, people just love them because they're quirky, they're different, they're, you know, they're just... They're built by hand. I think we've called this... I think he's called this one the Keith. Or the Keith. The Keith. And we'll see why in a second. Oh, stunning. All right. Well, that was my first reaction, stunning. Now, Phil made and sold one of these um, a little while ago on eBay, um, and I fell in love with it. I thought it was absolutely stunning guitar. So, all right, so here we've got Hue and Pine uh, Timber, good old Tasmanian Hue and Pine. Gorgeous grain, love the knots. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Tone Rider Dirty Old Path Humbucker Pickups. Um, 500k volume pots. Um, we've got Tele Style Humbucker Bridge. Three-way switch. Nice solid three-way switch there. Uh, zebra Wood. Knob switcher rather. Rather beautiful. So, we're having a chat with, uh, with Phil. Uh, and we'll organize a price for the guitar. Uh, if you're interested, contact us at birdwoodguitars.com. Acoustically, it's gorgeously resonant. Nice balance. I feel that'll have to actually have a really nice balance too. Bit of green there. Um, I think this is, I think this is possibly my favourite guitar that Phil's built. It is stunningly beautiful. Three piece, really nice choice of timbers. Look at that. Right. Shimmers. Vintage amber clear tint. So this is actually a vintage amber clear tint. So it brings out all of the, um, all of the detail. And you can feel it, like you can still feel the timber which is really lovely, which I love, because I love the feeling of timber. I don't like things that are covered up completely in lacquer. So I've just I've currently got it going through um, the Marshall valve state uh, with the chorus, little tiny bit of chorus on, just because I quite I'm in a chorus at the moment. And the um, the the max boost, the retro electric max boost. Very 
comfortable guitar to play, actually. So let's, let's see how it handles. I mean, it's not a guitar necessarily. I think someone buying this isn't gonna buy this to play metal. It's more of a blues and a rock machine, you know. I think it'll play, it'll handle anything from ACDC through to, you know, through to metal if you wanted to. But all right, well, let's, let's put a bit of metal on and, you know, just get that. This is actually a lot of fun to play. Let's see how we can, how high we can get up comfortably. All right, so it's getting up there. The little finger does get caught in this spot here, but as I said, you know, it's it's if you're playing blues licks and things. Dusty area for me up here anyway, so I don't know. But putting it practically, the frets feel really comfortable. Alright, so uh, Twangboat Guitars, you can find those here at Birdwood Guitars at Katoomba.